Hello ladies, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be sharing with you four books that changed my life. The first one is The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. This book basically condensed 3,000 years of the history of power into 48 laws. It teaches you about power, how to gain power, how to maintain power, and how to protect yourself from those in power, like your manager or politicians. The laws that are most relative to me in this book are law number four, always say less than necessary, and law number 46, never appear to perfect. Love this book and 100% recommend it. I think everyone should read this book once they turn 18. The second book on my list is Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. I started reading this book this year and I fell in love. This is the perfect book if you're trying to change your self-image. So Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz talks about the human self-image and how the perception we have of ourselves can affect our success and our happiness. And the book basically discusses how to improve your self-image by using your positive past and how to develop self-discipline to overcome procrastination. And I love this book because a lot of times we suck on the negative past and we never use our positive experiences, you know? And I'm all for using the positive past to achieve my goals and to live a more prosperous life. 100% recommend this book. Number three, how to win friends and influence people. This book touches on the importance of seeing things from other people's point of view. If you're trying to become a leader in your field or you plan on starting your own business or you just want to develop leadership qualities, this is the perfect book for you. It also talks about the importance of remembering people's names and making the other person you're having a conversation with feel important. And that's very important to me. This is why I 100% recommend this book for everyone. My books are so dusty because I take notes in my books and I really apply all the principles that I learn. One of the principles from how to gain friends and influence people by Dale Carney that I apply to my life is to become genuinely interested in the other person that I have a conversation with. Like learning about their interests and what makes them tick, you know? When you're genuinely interested in other people, and actually listen and learn about their interests, that's how you gain true friends and influence. Humans like to feel important. So if you're just having a conversation and you just want to talk about yourself and you're not interested in learning about other people, you won't gain true friends nor influence. Even the worst politicians have friends and they have people who would stand by their side no matter what. And we all know this because they know these things and they have so much influence because they apply these principles to their lives. So always remember that. Be genuinely interested in the other person. Whenever you meet someone for the first time, even if you don't know what they're talking about, just listen and ask questions and show that you're genuinely interested, sincerely interested in the other person. The fourth book on my list is Boundaries by John Townsend. This one is more on the biblical side, so if you're not a Christian and you're not open to reading a book that quotes a lot of scriptures from the Bible. This one would not be for you, but this book changed my life. It is definitely a game changer. It puts so much things into perspective for me. It taught me that I could say no without having an explanation. No means no, period. You don't really have to explain yourself why you said no, because that's that. And it also taught me that each time you say yes to something that you really don't agree with, it's a form of disrespecting yourself you know saying no is a form of self-respect sometimes it's so hard to say no to people that you love and people that you care about but people could sense that you don't have strong boundaries and they try to overstep those boundaries that you do have so it's always good to develop strong boundaries and some self-respect you know so these are the four books that i recommend that changed my life hope you ladies enjoy and please comment below and tell me some books that changed your life and maybe I could read them. I love reading books and I love learning new things. Life is all about learning. Life is a journey, you know, not a destination. Peace, love, and light, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Bye.